the Hindu religion is the indigenous religion of India. Just as the origin of physics cannot be traced to a person or to a given intellect, Hinduism cannot be traced either to a specific person or an intellect. It's a way of life based on universal values such as non-injury, compassion, love, speaking the truth, righteous living, fairness, respecting elders, teachers, fellow human beings. It's therefore based on the eternal truths, principles and values of life that hold true for all people in all places, at all times, past, present, and future. These values are like lubricating oil that makes all human, and human interactions smooth, noise-free, and without friction. The misconceptions about Hindu religion are endless. Time and time again, Hinduism is portrayed as one that's based upon worshipping many gods or idols. The truth about Hinduism is that there are not many gods, not one god, but only God. It is monism. That only God is what we call, in the scriptural terms, Brahman or Ishvara. It is non-dual, existence absolute, limitless awareness, absolute knowledge, and consciousness. It's formless, therefore is not limited by space or time. Therefore, it pervades any form and is in every form, living or non-living. It cannot be conceived by the intellect, described or defined. It's the substratum on which everything depends. It is the underlying truth of any name or any form. All of the creation is nothing but a manifestation of that one reality. It's like the silence between the notes, two notes in a musical score. But for the silence, you cannot distinguish the notes, nor can there be a melody. For example, ocean is a name, it's a form. <clears throat> the underlying truth of the ocean is water. Waves in the ocean are like, of all sizes and shapes, are like human beings with a name and a form. Just like the truth of waves in the ocean is water, and the waves in the ocean are non separate from water, so are also the human beings. Like waves in the ocean, they are non separate from that divine principle we call it Brahman. Another example I can give is uh, the world. In the world, there are a variety of parts, variety of vases, varieties of cups that are all made of clay. And despite the variety of sizes and shapes and forms and colors, the truth of them all is still clay. There are many types of gold ornaments, all sizes and shapes. But the truth of them all is still gold. Brahman is constant, changeless awareness. When you are deep asleep, the whole world is totally resolved. You are not aware of anything. But when you are awakened from the sleep, you say that you had a deep sleep, as if there is someone, some witness in consciousness or awareness that knows that you were asleep. It is that underlying consciousness which is non-separate from you, is Brahman. Logical thought reveals that human mind, body, intellect is not Brahman. There is something, a being, which is functioning through the mind, through the body, through the intellect. That inner me, that inner I-ness, 
that reality behind the perception he is Brahman. Thus the Hinduism states that all are divine, that there is divinity in every one of you, all of us, and that is the respectful greeting of one another that you see among the Hindus. You see this, Namaste. That is, I bow to the divine in you, meaning that there is a divine principle in you and in everyone. Thank you. You were right on time. Mm. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Nicely done. 